Artificial intelligence, AI, is more than just a trendy buzzword. It's a bona fide technological revolution poised to turbocharge productivity, with the potential to inject a substantial 10% boost into the global GDP over the next decade. That's not small change. In this grand AI orchestra, Microsoft is tuning up to be the conductor. With its extensive user base, Microsoft is strategically positioned to spearhead the AI revolution, impacting a multitude of sectors, from individuals to businesses and even governments. It's a bold stance that could redefine the way we live, work and govern. Big shout out to Seeking Alpha for sponsoring our video and its analytics. Make sure to get your 14-day free trial of Seeking Alpha. Premium via the link in the description. You can only get the 14-day trial through the link below, so make sure to check them out, guys. Microsoft has its eyes on a prize, an additional $193 billion in revenue by 2032, fueled by AI. Analysts are singing in harmony, forecasting a robust 14.4% annual revenue growth. However, even in this upbeat scenario, the elephant in the room is valuation. Microsoft appears to be riding high, possibly a bit too high, with a lack of that crucial safety margin if expectations don't fully align with reality. For prospective investors, a prudent approach is advised at current prices. A cautious stance is reasonable. But, and here's the kicker, if you see Microsoft shares slipping below the $280 mark, you might want to consider shifting gears to an aggressive buying mode. The potential to dominate the AI market could make it a golden opportunity worth seizing. The stock market is a complex dance, where investor sentiment and the underlying economy sway partners. Sometimes this dance leads to fantastic bargains in the form of great companies being undervalued. Other times, the rhythm quickens, and even profitless companies are propelled into the limelight, sending market heights soaring. Artificial intelligence, commonly known as AI, is often dismissed as a mere buzzword. It's considered a slick tool wielded by businesses and executives to attract investors, aligning with the latest trends. These trends can indeed be fickle and tricky, fostering a fear of missing out, FOMO mentality, which can inflate valuations and pose real risks to investors. But my perspective on the AI revolution is distinct. It's not just a fleeting trend, it marks the beginning of something profound, a transformative force promising unprecedented gains in productivity over the next decade. Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, echoes this sentiment. He believes AI could contribute a substantial 10% to the global GDP. In a world economy hovering around $100 trillion, that translates to astonishing growth, $7 to $10 trillion, all catalyzed by the next wave of AI technology. Think about how computers have revolutionized our lives, redefining productivity and transforming the job market. In this context, I view Microsoft, NASDAQ, MSFT as a titan in the competitive AI landscape. What sets Microsoft apart is its extensive reach in today's digital world. Take Microsoft 365, for example. It boasts a user base of around 345 million people, accounting for nearly 5% of the world's population. This colossal user base is an unparalleled opportunity. Infusing AI into Microsoft 365's multifaceted applications isn't just a smooth transition, it's a revolution. This integration won't just fuel Microsoft's user growth, it'll propel businesses worldwide into an era of unmatched productivity. So I foresee Microsoft not only leading the AI market, but also surpassing industry giants like Apple, AAPL, emerging as a cornerstone of the S&P 500, SPY, and solidifying its position as the most valuable company for the next five, 10 years. The reasoning is clear. In our increasingly digital world, Microsoft's expansive user base is the ideal springboard for widespread AI adoption. You might not even be aware but starting tomorrow, you could already be using AI without realizing it. Sure, Microsoft's potential doesn't stop at Office 365. It reaches far beyond. In fact, I've personally invested significantly in Microsoft, making up over 4% of my portfolio. 
let me unveil other opportunities and explain why I believe Microsoft is poised to become the most valuable company in the next decade. Microsoft's AI Prospects Before we dive into the AI landscape, let's take a moment to appreciate Microsoft's incredible growth journey. Over the past decade, Microsoft hasn't just grown, it's exploded. In 2014, their revenue was roughly $87 billion, and by June 2023, it had surged to a staggering $212 billion. That's a yearly growth rate of about 14.4%, impressive for a company that was already one of the giants back then. But here's the really exciting part. It's not just about growing the top line, it's about doing it efficiently. Microsoft's operating income has raced ahead at an even brisker pace, approximately 21.7% annually. This means they haven't just grown, they've grown smart. Their operating margin is nearly at an all-time high, standing at 41.8%. Now, contrast this with the sentiments of the early 2010s, when investors weren't so certain about Microsoft's future. Doubts loomed, and the company's stock was trading at an average of a modest 12 times earnings. Fast forward to today, and Microsoft hasn't just silenced the doubters. They've done it with finesse and financial acumen. It's a tale of resilience, strategic brilliance, and a lot of hard work finally paying off. Let's dive back into AI. It's nothing short of mind-boggling when you realize that the global AI market in 2023 is valued at a whopping $538 billion. And here's the kicker. Analysts are foreseeing a colossal 42% annual growth rate until 2032, propelling it to a jaw-dropping $2.6 trillion. Now here's where it gets intriguing. In June, Microsoft made quite the announcement. They're aiming to reel in approximately $10 billion in AI-related revenue for 2023. This might seem small in the grand AI landscape, accounting for just 2%, but wait a second. Microsoft's AI ventures are astonishingly diverse. They're not sticking to a single avenue. They're delving into generative AI for government applications, joining forces with edge telecom companies, and even gearing up to challenge Google with their search engine, Bing. Now, envision a scenario where Microsoft secures 7.5% of the entire AI market share. That translates to an extra $193 billion in revenue by 2032, solely through AI. It's a testament to their ambition and a strategically shrewd move, given the immense potential in the AI realm. In my book, Microsoft is perfectly positioned to lead the AI charge across various crucial applications, making it a prime choice for investors looking to ride the AI revolution wave. So, where exactly is Microsoft looking to harness AI for its applications? Well, one of Microsoft's strong suits is its AI platform, and the competition it faces here is relatively limited, primarily coming from Google Cloud and Amazon's AWS. Microsoft's software assets, particularly Office 365, are well aligned for AI advancements. Financial analysts are also quite optimistic about Microsoft's AI prospects. Most have raised their price targets, with the highest being $440 and the potential for a substantial revenue boost. Some estimates suggest that Microsoft could hit the $100 billion revenue mark by 2027, largely propelled by AI integration into Microsoft's products. This estimate surpasses my more conservative projection of around $83 billion by 2027. Azure and Office 365 have already made significant contributions to Microsoft's revenue, surging from $110 billion to $198 billion over the past four years, and the stock price has appreciated by a substantial 180%. This is a familiar narrative. The market has, in the past, underestimated the revenue potential of these business segments, and history might be poised to repeat itself with AI's impending impact on Microsoft's future sales growth. Microsoft's partnership with OpenAI has undeniably been fruitful. They recently hit a milestone with monthly revenue reaching $100 million, signifying a remarkable 30% increase since the summer of this year. This milestone doesn't just highlight the strength of the partnership, it also significantly enhances Microsoft's standing in the market. The smooth integration of OpenAI APIs with Azure plays a pivotal role in this. 
This integration doesn't just retain Microsoft's existing customer base, it acts as a magnet for new customers and workloads, effectively expanding Microsoft's reach in the market. Interestingly, the federal government sector, sometimes overlooked in terms of AI's impact, is undergoing a cloud transition. Microsoft's generative AI capabilities cater to the specific security and compliance needs of government agencies, making it an appealing choice for these entities. In June, Microsoft introduced the OpenAI service, allowing government departments to adapt generative AI models for tasks such as content generation and semantic search while adhering to strict security and compliance standards. Microsoft's innovative products like Microsoft 365 Copilot leverage AI-related R&D to enhance productivity. Copilot employs large language models to generate drafts, create presentations, and analyze data trends. It offers immediate benefits and significantly contributes to Microsoft's potential of achieving a $193 billion revenue increase by 2032. Furthermore, Microsoft's strategic partnerships with global telecom and data center companies are bolstering its position in edge computing, a crucial domain in the AI landscape. By tailoring AI-powered services for telecom networks, Microsoft continues to innovate and establish a strong foothold in this space. In addition to these advancements, Microsoft's AI-powered Bing and Edge have received positive responses, boasting over 100 million daily active users. Microsoft Bing, with its unique blend of search, answers, chat and creation, stands apart in this competitive landscape, at least for now. Although Google heavily dominates this market, the potential is enormous if executed effectively. With every 1% increase in market share, Microsoft stands to gain an additional $2 billion. It's a testament to the significant potential AI holds for Microsoft's growth and market impact. The primary concern here is the valuation. Despite Microsoft's strong foundational business, competent management, and promising AI prospects, the spotlight is on how it's currently valued. I personally identified an opportune window for investing in Microsoft during the fall of 2022. Back then, I was actively acquiring the stock when it was trading below $230 per share. This price point is in stark contrast to its present value of $327, which has surged primarily due to the AI excitement, coinciding with the debut of ChatGPT in November 2022. Now, while Microsoft isn't the most expensive option among its peers, and in my perspective, those peers are the leading players in the AI industry, its current valuation is quite close to the elevated levels of the past five years. The forward P-E ratio at the moment stands at 29.77 times its FY24 earnings. This figure closely aligns with the five-year average of 29.84 times. To put things in context, other companies like Alphabet, Google, are trading at 24.53 times, and Broadcom, Avgo, at 20.96 times their FY24 earnings, making them relatively more budget-friendly choices. On the other side of the spectrum, Amazon is significantly pricier at 60.28 times, and NVIDIA, NVDA, stands at 41.89 times their FY24 earnings. If we take a look at the Ford EV EBIT DA, the scenario remains quite similar. Microsoft is currently trading at 20.24 times, which is quite close to the five-year average of 19.98 times. Now let's factor in the growth projections made by analysts. These analysts are painting a pretty optimistic picture for Microsoft. They're anticipating Microsoft's earnings to surge at an annual rate of about 14.4% between FY24 and FY33. What's really mind-boggling here is that this projected growth rate closely mirrors what the company has already achieved over the past decade. And that's quite remarkable when you consider the sheer size Microsoft has already reached. What's important to note is that this growth isn't solely dependent on AI, it's going to stem from Microsoft's existing segments as well. Personally, I'm on the same page in terms of Microsoft's growth potential. But let's be clear, these projections are in the bull case category, not a bear case. Under this rather optimistic scenario, Microsoft could potentially reach a jaw-dropping revenue of around $575 billion by the end of FY33. Assuming no significant shifts in the already robust operating margin, 
which is sitting pretty at 42%, Microsoft could attain an operating income of $241 billion. To calculate Microsoft's fair value, I'm employing the DCF model, along with the growth rates from the bullish scenario we just talked about. Now, for the DCF analysis, we need to consider some additional assumptions. A tax rate of 19% D&A, depreciation and amortization, and CAPEX, capital expenditure, constituting 21% and 28% of EBIT, respectively. WACC, weighted average cost of capital at 10.5%. EV EBT day, enterprise value to earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. Multiple of 23.55. A terminal growth rate set at 1.5%. Now, when you gaze at the strong expected annualized growth rate of 14.4%, driven by these promising AI opportunities, Microsoft's future looks undeniably impressive. But here's where it gets interesting. At its current price of $327, it appears to be slightly overvalued, with a fair value estimate pegged at $323, indicating a 1% overvaluation. Now, I want to emphasize that this isn't a massive overvaluation, but it gains importance when we compare the projected growth rate with what the company achieved in a tech-friendly environment of low interest rates over the last decade. Given this lack of a safety margin at the current price point, my advice would be to hang tight and wait for a more favorable entry opportunity before considering an investment in this promising AI stock. Game plan and AMP. Conclusion. So let's sum this up. In this analysis, we've highlighted how Microsoft seems poised to reap the rewards of the AI revolution, primarily because of its massive tech customer base. Microsoft's stellar growth over the past decade is quite impressive. With the AI market gearing up to expand at a rate of 42% annually, I'm firmly of the belief that Microsoft could secure a significant 7.5% share, potentially bringing in over $192 billion from AI alone by 2032. What makes Microsoft stand out is its strategic approach in the AI landscape. They're reaching out to a wide spectrum, from individuals to businesses and governments, positioning themselves as leaders in the market. With the 2020S shaping up to be the AI revolution era, Microsoft could very well wear the crown of the most valuable company. However, a word of caution is in order, particularly given the current slight overvaluation of the stock, even in what I'd call the best case scenario. Without a margin of safety, it's smart to be cautious, especially if things don't go as expected. As someone who has a substantial stake in Microsoft, my advice to others in a similar boat is to hold. But here's the kicker. If the stock price takes a dive, here's my game plan. If it drops to $280, i am thinking about scooping up more shares, increasing my position by 10%. If it slides to $260, I'm looking to add another 10%. And if it goes below my current cost basis of $240, I'm prepared to make a more substantial move, increasing my position by another 20%.